the nigga Puff was like, yeah, like first he was hamping him to, to right. get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this nigga just say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him because I was like, this, this nigga, like, fuck you. Wait, this nigga just tell me he take me shopping. <laughs> and this is the shit, this is shit that goes on. But this is a little fruit, but probably the fruit pile. <laughs> Trust me. You see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there? I'm just sitting out there for no reason. Yo, you don't see accident pictures of me like kissing each other. Like that doesn't happen by accident. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look, look. Later you're going to find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Do you understand what I'm saying? Man, listen. I'm trying to tell you the truth. But the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit. But I'm trying to tell you. Nah. Nigga asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the fuck did this nigga just say? Like, I want to take you shopping. <laughs> I got a bankroll out this motherfucker. I want to take you shopping. Why? Because when you walk around looking so motherfucking good, I want to feel like, God damn it, that motherfucker with me. <laughs> That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. But when a nigga tell me he want to take me shopping, what the fuck is the matter with this nigga? <laughs> For the people to make him the laughing stock of hip hop, the laughing stop stock of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is one of the greatest tragedies of our time. It's crazy. What he what he has become to the media. Can you separate his music from his personal life? You know the man through his music. So you can't separate his personal life from the music. Why do you think he was offering to take 50 cent shopping? I can't really, I, I can't really offer that, bro. I, I, I can't really answer that. I, I, I don't know why, but just on some sucker shit, probably. You know what I'm saying? Trying to play 50. Mm. You know 50, come on, bro. 50 just, 50 was rich at the time. 50 used to do music for him. Why he never asked him then? When he was doing music for him. You understand? Just talking shit, want to have something to say. Knowing 50 hot. 50 Cent has gained a reputation for publicly criticizing numerous figures, including Diddy, Jay-Z, and Suki Knight. The controversy began when 50 Cent referred to Diddy as effeminate, a statement Diddy hasn't directly refuted. However, it's important to acknowledge that 50 Cent isn't the sole individual questioning Diddy's sexuality. Suge Knight speaks out. And what Shook said really, really, really stood out to me. Shook said, the raids wasn't about Diddy. It wasn't about Diddy. And it makes sense. They was about what it was about when you listen to the court transcripts. And when you listen to what the witness, Lou Rod or Lou Rodney or whatever his name is, the allegations, Diddy had cameras, hidden cameras in every room, in every party, at every event, which means that he had evidence on powerful men. With Shook Knight, Shook Knight he, he, he hit him in the head with the head shot. Did he have a get out of jail free card, which is blackmail? He can blackmail some of the most powerful men around the world. Even the ones that he was fighting with in the liquor, the liquor corporations and companies. So what they do, you got to understand, they send in their army. They made a statement, turned his family upside down, turned his house upside down. But 
The only thing I'm thinking is, like when you sit back and you really, really analyze it, somebody put Diddy on point to what was going on. That's why his plane that everybody thought he was on, he was on that plane. They was looking for that plane. That plane left without Diddy. And nine times out of ten, that plane probably was carrying the evidence to convict all these powerful men that Diddy's beefing with. Because <laughs> Diddy like, he need no brown right now. I ain't going down by myself. But if they catch that evidence, he ain't got nobody else to point the finger at. He can't prove it. Video shoot, uh, uh, game, 50, everybody was there. I just heard somebody say, Suge Knight's here. And I looked and Suge was, Suge was there. And he, but he had some essays with him though. You know what I'm saying? He, he all essays. And uh, he looked at Fifth and uh, Fifth was like, what's up, what's up? And Suge just like, he hit a cigar one time and then he did like this little shit like that, wrap it up. And then they, everybody just turned around and left. It was, it was like a, a John Wayne movie or some shit. <laughs> Diddy has remained in possession of substantial evidence, causing unease among figures like Suge Knight. It's been suggested that Suge, alongside a group of associates, confronted 50 Cent due to his outspokenness on the matter. So I talked to the big homies, Angel J, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without, without 50. Right? And I'm like, that's when I start saying crazy stuff, because I look looking and I go, oh, that's your big homie, right? So, so you, you, you image yourself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with so this. So now look, what I'm saying to you is, look, when you start looking at it's, it, that's not mine, that's theirs, they are, right? But when you look at, M is looking at the entire legacy. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, like with, with M, Dre, and myself. Like the, I'm a shady aftermath. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, there's so much G-Unit, G-Unit Records. Right. Too. They forget that I'm, I'm M and Dre's artist. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, but that's... That's, that's just the way it was. Like, Were I, you a part of it? Even, like, you say you weren't on the ad, right? Yeah, yeah. When, when, when we saw the initial asset that came out. Huh. And you weren't on there. But were you already a part of it? No, I already had communications oh, okay. with Paul about going to do it. But the ad was co coming out that already was shot with, okay, gotcha. with him and everybody else in it. So I'm like, nah, cool, I'll be surprised. Like, it's, it's cool to be surprised. Right. Yeah, I was surprised too. I remember at every rehearsal, I was like, man, what the hell? I won 20 bucks. Man, right. Yeah, oh, yeah, me and Louie betted against yeah, it. And I was like, Fiddy's going to show when, up. Watch. When nobody, like when I reach out, because I want to see what the complications are, when nobody has any information about it, and it only came from that angle, I, I have to believe that that was something that's from there. Did you and Jay-Z ever have a conversation? Or no, y'all in different offices, as far yeah. as like? We don't need to talk about nothing. I heard that. I wasn't aware of that drama. But it seems there's talk about a potential romantic link between Jay-Z and Diddy. There are rumors that Jay-Z has been interested in portraying himself as a homosexual artist anyhow. Y'all don't see the lineup? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, we see the lineup. I, I'm just waiting to see who's next. Who's yeah. Jay-Z is setting Diddy up! Why is everyone having such a hard time? He ain't doing shit. He lined up D Haven, stole his life and identity. He lined up Big L, stole his life and identity. He lined up Dame Dash, stole his life, identity, and took his love. Lined up R. Kelly. He wants to be the one. You know, nobody acknowledged what was going on between her and Mr. Carter. Because she was 15. She was 15. And everybody knew it. Naive girl. I'm not saying that she wasn't a city girl. 
But a 14 year old girl mentally cannot contend with a 28, 29 year old man. Let's Period. Person literally discards people and tries to erase them like they never exist so he doesn't have to see them or deal with what he's done with people. Um, you know, I blame a lot of what happened to Inga Marshawn on his reckless adult choices for a very, very, very underage girl. But you hear that story a lot. Jagler Wright delves into the disturbing allegations surrounding Jay-Z, from purported involvement with a 14-year-old girl to questionable alliances with Diddy. Recently, Diddy's son released a diss track aimed at 50 Cent, adding more fuel to the ongoing drama. In response, 50 Cent mocked him, suggesting fear for his safety. Despite finding himself in various controversies, it seems 50 Cent remains unfazed by it all. 